Hey there folks, Mark here on the Culinary Compass. There are very few things that get into my calendar as reoccurring items. And you know when you have that area that says um, after X number of occurrences, well mine says like infinity. And the reason is is that today is Julia Child's 100th birthday if she were alive and with us. So this is one of those days that makes it into my calendar and is uh, very worthy um, because she is, uh, as most of you know, an inspiration on so many different levels, but probably the most basic one is her absolute total disregard for rules in the kitchen and the rules that are put upon us in relation to what we should and shouldn't eat. And as all of you out there know that definitely has influenced um, the way I cook and talk and live food. Okay, now there's a, a negative to this, and the negative is is that I've had a, a very tortured relationship with Julia Child since uh, I was a very young boy. My mother, who's uh, pictured here in this post, uh, was supposed to actually have her Julia Child's uh, time slot, um, and unfortunately wasn't able to get it. Why? Because um, she forgot to market herself for it. My mom, in the kitchen, with her joie de vivre and her attitude and her skills and her passion for food, in addition to her technical prowess, as well as her very similar uh, perspective on food to Julia, um, was something that my dad was uh, obsessed with, with making happen. And this was before the Galloping Gourmet or Julia showed up as the first two foodies on TV. Um, anyway, my dad, till the day he died, always made sure to remind us all that it really was Julia who took my mother's spot and the Galloping Gourmet who took my mother's spot. And frankly, no matter how much I loved both of them, and I watched them all the time with my mom, my mom should have had that spot. So, that's it for the Culinary Compass today. Please, find a way to worship this woman. Julia deserves it if anybody does. Ciao for now.